Summarizing data is simple. If all you require is a simple sum or average of your data using a single criterion. For example, the sum if function introduced in Excel 2007 can help you answer simple questions like what is the total amount of paid or future invoices? Select the range found in the status column in our example, then the criterion, which is the word paid found in cell B5, then the sum range found in our amount column. Copy the function to check for future invoices. However, I have found that many managers ask more detailed questions and want a quick answer. For example, what is the total amount of future invoices for all Canadian customers who are manufacturers? We can answer this question with Excel's dsum function. The dsum function is part of the database functions group, and it requires three arguments, database, field, and criteria. In this example, we have the database, which contains the field we're going to sum, and criteria listed above the database. First, some basic rules pertaining to an Excel database, sometimes referred to as a list or table. There can be only one database per worksheet, and it must be formatted as a list, meaning the header row must contain unique field names. Make them bold to stand out a bit. Your list cannot contain any blank rows or columns. Enter a zero instead of leaving a blank cell. As a best practice, I recommend creating and using a name range for the database. Select the range of cells in the list, including the header row. Then type the name, in our example, register in the name box and press enter. This will make it easier to refer to the database using a name range instead of selecting the cell range each time. Now for the formula. Type equals, then dsum and press tab. Then type the name of the database called register, in our case, and a comma. The second argument calls for the field to sum on, so I'll click the amount field header. And finally, we'll need the criteria, including the field names and values, which are found above the database. Type a closing parentheses and press enter, and we have the answer. In case we're asked, we can also use the handy decount function to see how many Canadian manufacturers owe future invoices. Type equals, then decount, and press tab, and complete the arguments. Add the database name, select the header name for the amount field, then select the criteria range that includes the field headers. Close the formula and press enter we find that two future invoices belong to Canadian manufacturers. Now you know multiple ways to sum data by taking advantage of the sum if, desum, and decount functions in Excel 2010. On your own, you'll want to explore other ways to use these powerful functions to find the answers you need with Excel 2010.